Hi, I'm Tiffany Windsor. I have a super cool way for you to display interchangeable artwork on a clipboard. With this clipboard project, it's very easy to personalize it for your own style. The first step is to take your clipboard and remove the clip at the top. All you need to do is just use a screwdriver. Now you have the back of the clipboard that lays flat so it's much easier to craft on. I want to decoupage onto the clipboard so I take my scrap of paper and I just line up the clipboard and draw a line where I want to cut to fit the scrapbook paper. Take your scissors and just cut along your lines. I like to check my cut paper to make sure that I have a nice fit and that it will cover the clipboard. And the next step is to use your Aline's matte decoupage. You could also use the gloss finish and start brushing it onto the clipboard. And you want to move fairly quickly in this step. This will soak into your clipboard and so you want to uh, continue to move along and cover the entire clipboard with your Aline's matte decoupage. Smooth out any excess ridges of the decoupage medium. We're going to quickly set this aside so that we can apply the decoupage medium onto the back of our cut paper. And apply this right down onto the wet decoupage medium that's on the clipboard. And you do have a few minutes to slide it around just a little bit so that you have it placed exactly where you want it. Smooth out some of those extra bubbles with your hand and then apply a coat of decoupage medium over the top of the paper. Once I brush it on and while it's still wet, I just use my finger and start to push out any air bubbles that do start forming. And this is where it's really important that you have enough medium so it still remains wet for you to push out those bubbles. And finally, I'll come back and just smooth out the decoupage medium and then you would let this dry completely. For the next step in this project I want to layer several pieces of my scrapbook paper over a piece of lightweight mat board and again we're going to use our Lean's decoupage medium. I'm lining up the first layer of scrapbook paper and you want it to line up fairly closely but it doesn't have to be exact we can cut this down when the piece is dry so that all of the edges are completely even. And then applying, I've already applied decoupage to the back of this piece. And I want to line it up and apply a coat over the top. Once you finish applying your decoupage, just let this piece dry completely. Let me show you how to assemble your clipboard art. I attached the clip back onto the board with the screwdriver. I tied a looped bow and attached it to the clip with wire. And on that layered scrapbook paper that we decoupaged together, I glued a piece of ribbon in place. And I also took a frame and painted it to match my decor and used a wet wipe to pull the extra paint back so it's a reverse antique effect. I removed all the extra hardware from the back of the frame so I could glue it flat onto my scrapbook paper and I glued an embellishment in the center. This way your clipboard can be interchangeable with different artwork that you create. So you just clip that ribbon right into the clip at the top of the board. There you have a great mixed media clipboard art piece. The Aline's Matte Decoupage and the Aline's Original Tacky Glue are available at Michael's. It's terrifically tacky and creatively cool.